to the hurling goal of the year. Again, there were some crucial, crucial goals here, clutch moments. What one stands out to you first? Yeah, I think the Harry Ruddle goal, like I think I think it's just it has to be on the speed. I think it has to be number one because first of all, the quality of it, like he picks up the ball in his own half, runs the length of the field. He's only got one option there. Like he has to go for goal. Like the time is we've played the full amount of minutes of of added on time. Even if he puts it over the bar, like Bally Hale have won the won the All Ireland. Considering Bally Gunner had never won an All Ireland up until that point, to have the composure and like the mental strength to actually go for goal there knowing what's on the line and he couldn't have placed it any better as well like I think it's a it's one of the moments of the year as well as regardless of one of the goals of the year like I think it was an extraordinary technique I think other ones as well like TJ Reid's in the semi-finals versus St. Martin's um like way out the field as well like he'd no right to go for goal really from there like yeah um, like that was a crack and crack goal, and that's probably another one as well that you could argue again. It was a winning goal; he had to go for it. There were so many players, like in and around sort of the the box area, and obviously around the square to sort of block the slitter from going in. So, um, and then yeah, Hegarty's goal, I think for for Limerick as well, and the in the All Ireland final was a crack and one. So, yeah, I think Harry Ruddle would be for me. I just think the significance of it, the skill of it as well, like how far he ran with the ball. I just yeah, I don't think you can. It it just doesn't get any better than that. I don't think. Yeah, I think the the Hegarty goal was one where I was like, "How good is this guy?" Like that yeah. that goal. I like literally, you didn't even see the ball. You just saw the net bulge. I was like, "What? Yeah. This fella like is ridiculous. He's so good." His goal against Clare as well was one where it was magic. The way he mm-hmm. when he's running at that pace, like. And he's able to scoop the ball over a Clare defender, take it down and bury it into the net. Like, I don't think people appreciate just how hard that is to do. When you're going mm-hmm. at that pace, to see the defender coming and to scoop it over him and catch it and score. Like, that's outrageously good. Um, Yeah, I think another good shout for goal of the year, I think, is that Hegarty one. Mikey Kiley as well in the UL against IT Carlo. That was an absolutely cracking goal. Adam Screeny as well, Cork against Offaly. Of course, we are getting some of these nominations from GA Statsman. Big shout out to him. I mean, we were talking off air there, Aaron. How many posts does this guy make? So do follow him if you're not. Um, Some great nominations there as well. I really like the Mikey Kiley goal as well. I think that has to be right up there too. Yeah, and another one I just thought of as well, I think it was Paddy McCormick maybe in the all Ireland minor hurling final between Tipperary and Offaly. The, literally a goal that won, again, another leg. Yeah, winner. I see it. Yeah, and like, maybe in term, it was more of just, I think it was Paddy Phelan who like just floated the ball in and then McCormick just sort of tapped it in with the hurl. Like maybe it was a bit more of a sort of a, a last gasp sort of snatched goal rather than maybe like pure skill or anything like that. But even at that, to still get the connection on the ball in the air like that's still some skill in itself so um couldn't look past that yeah the mikey coily goal as well that was a, a crack and crack and goal but for me I, I just can't look past the harry ruddle goal like i think just to be so far out as well and put that in like it was just unbelievable stuff really mm-hmm. yeah no i think i want to give a shout out to the brian concannon goal against limerick i think the way he caught that turn yeah, and buried yeah. it i think that was an outrageously good finish um but yeah I'm happy to go with Harry Ruddle. I think the way he just, with so much on the line, and I think that's the thing that you have to take into account here. Yeah. The Hegarty goal, I think, in terms of the finish and in terms of you know, you know, like in terms of the skill, I think you could argue Hegarty's is right yeah. up there with Harry Ruddle's. But in terms of the stakes, Hegarty's goal was right at the start of the All Ireland final. It got Limerick off the, it got Limerick off to a flyer, but. Harry Ruddle's goal, when everything is on the line, I and mean, we're like, Ballygunner are slipping quickly towards defeat in this final. And once again, they're going to let an All Ireland Club championship slip between their fingers. And then Harry Ruddle steps up and buries it into the back of the net from such a distance out with so many Ballyhale lads around him. Bearing in mind he's a substitute, he didn't start the game, he's not like one of Ballygunner's key players. Massive, massive respect. So, yeah, I'm happy to go with that one. Harry Ruddle's goal for Ballygunner in the All-Ireland Club Final against Ballyhale Shamrocks is our goal of the year.